you get the generic thing of where it like they don't say what's in the man's hand. It's like he sets three and passes. Congratulations. You're missing so much. Hopefully this will be long. I bring my glasses. When do you ever wear those? When I go to the room. You have glasses? I'm like, nothing exists there. Exactly. I pretend it doesn't exist. Fire is there. Gas is existing. I exist. Moving out in the world. See, now he's going to summon Dragon Clark. I wish I had. Equip Sword and Giga Manus. Oh, dude, that'd be busted. I like that one better. Two games in a row? Two games. Gonna be my favorite. Me too. Come on. What if we had like some corny music playing in the background? Like oh. the Yu-Gi-Oh theme song or something? There was this one Nationals he went to where like the round started, it was round one. You told me about yeah, that. Yeah, they just played the Yu-Gi-Oh theme song and I was like, please, make it stop. I would never want it to stop. That, da, da, da. that was the one I was playing Infernities and got spell books back. Oh, well, that's nice. Well, oh yeah, you're telling me about that. The spellbook player's going first. <laughs> the dice. Yeah, it was the dice's fault. And then I played Herald of Perfection. Didn't expect to lose that one, but I did. Come on, say dice, say. And about? Cool, say you say. And big thing? 18. In a very serious match, guys. This determines the winner of our 13 person. Was that double? The new kid? Yes. Yes, it was. Centipede is like all Centipede's like all He made back for a while, basically. I mean, like, Centipede's all about. Centipede equals Dragon Back. Go. Stupid. And they're like one of the only decks that don't play just generic charms. They play like threatening and stuff that you're never prepared for. Yeah, where like, it doesn't, it doesn't matter how much control you have, they stop your attack and they pop your shield. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they stop your attack and pop your shield. Inject your hands. That would be so much destruction. Inject hands. Yes. Hand vectors. With hands. Like they, they, they have hands. They make their hands, they grab the hornet. You like want to see some duplicates? Special? Special? God damn it, Bo. What's that book of moon you need? Right. Book of Boo. There's that good card that freaking little bad doesn't have. Really I like that card. It's not that card, that's another one I'm talking about. I'm talking about Anganar. Something? I don't like when you hit four. I hit four. Alright, I bet. Especially in light. Can't activate? Yeah. Go ahead. It dies super hard to a uh, black shield. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Uh, black shield is also one of the least playing range for you. And big extra deck. Yeah, except for like hats. But with light swords, it doesn't matter. Because you're only using it for your turn to play your JD. I don't even play an extra deck in my life. I play one Felgrand. Like I play a Felgrand and a guy at Dragon Tag. I play a bunch of Synchros. And then some rank 3s, mostly consisting of Anganeer and Levier. I yeah. play level 7 Synchros. Felgrand and a guy at Dragon I'm not a Goyo. Hey, cool. So I can't make it. Who do I play Smash? Okay. The advantage. 
Yeah, to his, to, in his defense, I mean, you Yu-Gi-Oh kind of pooped on it. I drew three hands, three hollow. Wait, when did Diana name one of them? Or was that game two? It was a useless card. Doesn't matter? It was three hollow. It was Diana that didn't have a target. Two hands and a useless card. Just could have just said three hollow when he came I am with hands. Because hands don't activate on hollow. Yeah, you, you brought him back from... Yeah, I'm trying to make sure I brought back a call. Yeah. If hands activate back on hollow... Yeah. What I'm saying, you can't just bring him back. He was he opened Dragonfly Hornet. Yeah, he opened Dragonfly Hornet. Source. It's fifty-nine. Four thousand seventeen for fifty-seven. I bet fifty-three. 